Hey, welcome back to my channel. I made this video based on my own research, and all the product links included in description for latest price and more informations. Spyderco Paramilitary Spyderco Paramilitary 2 is a top-rated knife. You may hear about this many times. This is my favorite knife in terms of design and deployment. I have used it for such a long time. Look at it. The thing that makes me impressed most by this knife is the compression lock. How can I say? It is kind of like a liner lock, except it works in reverse instead of the line of being in the middle. The liner is in the back. That means that for this knife to close, I need to push or compress a chunk. So, it is a solid lockup. There's no hint of play in any direction. This is one of the world's most robust locks ever used. However, I think the handle is a bit large compared to other knives with the same length of the blade. However, it is not a big deal. It is still one of the perfect knives I have ever used. So, this is such a great knife to have. From ease of use ergonomics to how well it is optimized to cut. It is ideal for survival situations. Spyderco Paramilitary is an excellent knife around $150. If you've got a budget, then just go for this knife. I am sure this will not disappoint you. Sog Escape Tactical Folding Sog is a familiar brand with a wide range of good folding knife. And this one is ideal for escape. I often leave this knife in my car because it is suitable for emergencies such as breaking the window, cutting belts, and so on. It is truly an escape knife. Which features that make this product to be an escape knife? First, the glass breaker tip will shatter some glass, and then it has a seat belt cutter. Also, there is another little blade underneath the handle. It is folding with a lock back. There's the other thing it's kind of my least favorite lock. I press this to disengage the blade. So, I don't really like the action. This knife is very stiff and tight, which makes it hard to deploy. So for self-defense or need quick action, I will take priority for other knives. However, to escape, this seems to be on the top list. All in all, although I don't use it much for my daily activities, it got a couple of cool features for escape. I got a nice knife for my belt. Anyway, if you're thinking about buying it, I guess it is pretty cool for what it is. Smith & Wesson SWMP4LS Look at its appearance, how attractive it is. It deserved to be one of the best folding fighting knives when I saw it at first glance. Overall, it has a great rugged and balanced feel. The blade is made of reliable 4034 black oxide high carbon stainless steel with a black aluminum handle with rubber inlay. I have to admit that I'm attached to the breaker. You can imagine that if you happen to have an issue with a window, you can just use that to break the window windshield or whatever you. Besides the cool outlook, I love this tactical knife with a glass breaker. It is beneficial when I am camping. I can even use it to break some hard nuts. Interesting. At first, I couldn't figure out how to release the blade. It took me around 20 minutes. It is difficult to use as other knives I have bought. However, after a time using it, everything becomes more manageable. Another downside is that the switch is great if you are right-handed because you can flip the safety switch using your right thumb. If you're in the market for a tactical knife, don't hesitate to give Smith & Wesson a try. I think it is not a high price. Thank you for watching this video. All of these product links in the description. Go to the product link you are interested in, for more info and updated price. Please subscribe and like this video.